Hello, Internet. It is I, Malik Aaron Aaron, and welcome back to Box Office Predictions. Uh, happy Halloween, by the way. By the time this video comes out, Halloween will already be here. Uh, now, I know this Halloween is going to be a bit different for obvious reasons. But for those of you who are planning to do stuff, uh, stay safe, eat candy, uh, have fun. Don't TP somebody's house because you might need that toilet paper later on, if you know what I mean. Uh, but, yeah. So, it's quite fitting that on Halloween weekend, we're, gonna, we're talking about a horror movie. A horror movie called Come Play. So, as usual, we're going to go over the pros and cons for Come Play. So, let's get to it. Pros. Well... Come Play is a horror movie, and it's coming out literally a day before Halloween. The timing could not be more ideal, because of course Halloween is known for being the scary, spooky day of the year, you know, or it's just a day for everybody to dress up, you know, there's that too, but it's mostly about spooky, scary stuff like ghosts or demons or zombies blah 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 whole rogues gallery of monsters and stuff so it makes perfect sense to release something like this around this time i mean the saw movies like their the whole tradition was to release a saw movie literally around halloween and it worked out pretty darn well for that series so yeah releasing a horror movie Right around Halloween makes all the financial sense in the world. So yeah, that's definitely a pro. Uh, second pro is that this movie has no competition. I highly doubt The Empty Man will be any competition because nobody saw it. I didn't think anyone would. So they could just forget that. So yeah, Come Play is the only movie coming out this weekend. So it doesn't have any incoming competition. So... Yeah, that's definitely a pro. Uh, I think this movie, yeah, it's PG-13. That could be a plus because, you know, teens, any teens out there or any young adults might be in the mood for a horror movie. Although I don't know if they'll be in the mood for this type of horror movie. You know, for young adults or teens, it's usually like, well... I don't know. There's Supernatural. There's Slasher. There's all types of horror. But I don't know. They might want to see it. Maybe. but I mean, we'll see about that. But yeah, I would consider that a pro, I guess. Uh, I guess another pro is that, you know, the premise. I'll read you the synopsis right here. Oliver is a lonely young boy who feels different from everyone else. Desperate for a friend, he seeks solace and refuge in his ever-present cell phone and tablet when a mysterious creature uses Oliver's devices against him to break into our world. Oliver's parents must fight to save their son from the monster beyond the screen. So pretty much a child is in danger <laughs> in a horror movie. I mean, it's, it's not a new thing. It's been done Quite frankly, it's been done to death. But when it works, it works, okay? You know, children are always used as like a plot device in horror movies. I know Poltergeist is one. Uh, trying to think of some others. Mm. I can't think of any right now, but I know there's plenty of horror movies involving children. It's not a new thing. But I think the premise is simple enough for people to, you know, might watch it. It's not like an overly complex. It seems like a simple popcorn, just easy to digest type of horror movie. So it's nothing artsy like Midsommar or Mother or It Comes at Night or something like that. So Or, or uh, Hereditary. So, yeah. Uh, cons. Well, historically, Halloween weekend, whenever Halloween drops on a Friday or a Saturday, business 
dies. <laughs> it dies. It falls off a cliff. It is ugly. Very ugly. Because, you know, in normal times, back when things were normal, you know, a lot of young people would be out having parties. I highly doubt anybody's going to do that this year. They probably will they'll try. They'll probably get arrested, though. <laughs> so... If I were you, I wouldn't try throwing a Halloween party. Or at least a huge one that might get out of control. But yeah, usually they'd be out doing that and the movie theaters would just get ignored. So, yeah. Uh, that's definitely a con. Although I don't think it'll really matter this year because things are so different. <laughs> that it might not matter at all, but still... Halloween on a weekend is a death sentence for any movie out there. Especially, for some reason, family movies. Well, I know why family movies. Because kids are out trick-or-treating. They're not going to the movies. But yeah, historically also, kids' movies can get... <laughs> they can get destroyed on this weekend. So, and obviously, but obviously, Come Play is not a kids' movie. Even though it has a child as a main character, it's not a kids' movie. It's PG-13, so... It does have to worry about that. But yeah, opening on this particular weekend can be a con financially. Uh, second con is that this movie hasn't gotten much marketing. I think I saw ads for it. I, I didn't know what it was. I just kind of skipped it. But I think it was this movie. But I mean, at least it has some ads better than... <laughs> Better than Empty Man, which had no ads whatsoever. Until like the very last minute. So at least they put slightly more effort into this than Empty Man. But still has a real lack of publicity. It also doesn't help in that everyone's more focused on pandemic and the election. That's where everybody's attention is right now. So, Yeah. <laughs> That's a con. Uh, third con is that... Uh, well, I can say pandemic, but ad nauseum. Just pandemic, period. People aren't willing to go to the theater as much as they used to. It won't change until like a vaccine comes out or something like that. It'll be a long time before things you know, even start to get normal at the box office. So, yeah, that's a con. Uh, trying to think of what else. I think that's it. I think. Well, I guess this movie has no real star power, but that hasn't stopped horror movies in the past. So, I'm not really going to mention that. But yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. So, opening weekend, I'm going to say between 1 and 2 million that's the highest I'm willing to go. It might go a bit higher, but I'm going to be realistic. Pick between 1 and 2 million. It has to open higher to empty, man. It has to. At least by a little bit. And after uh, Saturday, this movie is going to die. It's going to bleed out. And it's just going to just be forgotten about. Because I, cause that's what happens. With horror movies coming out the end of October. Once November strikes. They are officially irrelevant. <laughs> there is no reason to watch them. So. You know. You know Saturday. Which will technically be today. When it when this comes out. Saturday will be the only. The most relevant time to watch this. After that it's over. It's over. So. Yeah this movie is going to be super front loaded. Like most horror movies are. I'll probably end at around 3 million. 3 to 4 million. Maybe. Closer to 3. And then that'll be it. So yeah that's come play. Uh, so that's the end of October. I know it was a lackluster month. But what can you do? <laughs> uh, what else? So now it's time for November. What's coming out in November? There's Let Him Go, Skip, <laughs> Freaky, that has potential, even though, but the weird thing is, is that it could have, Freaky's weird, 
it's weird. It's a horror movie coming out in November, so that's a little strange. It's it missed the spooky month of October, but it has that Friday the thirteenth release date, which has a spooky reputation, so it still works. And then there's Crude's the a uh, new age, and that's it. Then December there's All My Life, that got added. Free Guy uh comeback trail death on the nile maybe i don't there's a chance that could get moved we can scratch off coming to america scratch that off that's on amazon wonder woman 1984 i don't see staying i really don't i'd be surprised if it's if it if it remains on christmas i'll be shocked there's Promising Young Woman, there's News of the World, there's Monster Hunter, and that's it for 2020. And then there's all these movies that are just floating around <laughs> in the ether. The Green Knight, I'm real pissed about that. I was looking forward to that. I was planning on seeing that. But now it's just floating up there, and it's just... It, it angers me. Because <laughs> I wanted to see it so bad, but... It's nothing I can do about it. And then connected, who knows what will happen to that. It might just go to premium VOD, probably. But yeah, next on next up we're doing Let Him Go, which Ugh. <laughs> just Oh my gosh. Things are so bleak. So bleak. We won't we won't be talking about a real interesting movie until Freaky and the Crude, so you know what? You know what? That's it. That's all. Uh, make sure to subscribe, like this video, leave a comment, turn on notifications, share the whole drill. Want we'll to check out more predictions like this? I got a playlist on the homepage with all the movies that that <laughs> made it in 2020. It's pretty much the first three months, and then a five month gap, and then. A couple movies in August, a couple in September, a couple in November, a couple in, Dece in November, and then December, in October, I, whatever. Any movie that managed to make it to theaters in 2020, I have pretty much covered. All wide theatrical releases, I need to add. So if you want to check all those out, go right ahead. Uh, I've done recaps of the monthly box office. Last time I did a double recap of August and September. I'm going to do the same thing with October and November because the schedule is so barren. Might as well combine the two. But that will come around early December-ish. So, yeah. Uh, there's also the Cancelled series going over any movies that have been delayed from the original release date. Plenty of those being from 2020, obviously. And that's still ongoing. Like, I just made a cancelled video like a few days ago. So it's clearly not over. And I'm just one episode away from reaching 25. So, yay. Hopefully, actually, I, I shouldn't hope for this. But I'm hoping something big goes down on the day I do the 25th cancelled video. Because I think it would be fitting it'll be special but I, I shouldn't hope for that but at this point i i, I don't care <laughs> i don't care anymore uh, but yeah that's it that's all i am out bye